Well, there it is. The Nikon 18 to 55. All professional photographers have basically gotten rid of this lens. This is usually the lens that most people get rid of first when they're starting photography and their skills are growing. They realize it's kind of a soft lens. And it's soft compared to other lenses. Now, if you're a beginner, it's not really a soft lens, okay? It's not going to be soft like, like this soft, okay? It's going to be soft compared to other lenses. And if you're really pixel peeping on your photo, yeah, it's not as detailed, but it is a good landscape lens anyways, and I do encourage uh, beginners to keep it for a little while. This time of year, I do keep a polarizer on it in the fall, just to boost those colors a little bit, boost the sky a little bit, and of course it gets rid of reflections really well. But that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about, uh, a little trick with this lens, is you'll notice there is no window, there's no focusing window on this lens. And if you're doing something like star trails, um, you're shooting at night, it's really hard to autofocus. It won't autofocus. And it's really hard for you to manually focus um, because it's so dark out. So what you do is you find infinity on the lens. And how you do that and remember where it is, all you do is during the day before you go out at night, you focus out on the furthest, or sorry, you zoom out, and then you focus on the furthest thing you could really see, okay? Focus, and then just stop. Take some nail polish or some white out. I have pink nail polish on here. Uh, I just dabbed it right there on the barrel of the lens. And just make sure you hit this ledge right here because you're gonna need something to line up when you're in the dark, okay? Um, so you zoom out 55. Focus on the furthest possible thing. Dab it with some nail polish. You just marked infinity. Okay. And and you're going to do that too in the bush. You're going to put on a tripod. You're going to zoom out. You're going to line up your dots. And you're going to carefully zoom back to its widest point. And it hasn't moved. It's still on infinity. So if I zoom back to 55, you see the dots. They're still lined up. So you carefully zoom back. Compose your shot, and you know that your stars, your tree line, your whole general photo is going to be nice and sharp, as sharp as an 18 to 55 is really going to be for you. So there's a little tip how to mark infinity on an 18 to 55.